So in this video you will be learning about quantum theory and uh, you will learn about the electronic structure of atom. So before we start we will just uh, look on some of the equations which you will be using for solving various questions on this. So the video is not going to focus on teaching how these formulae were derived. We will be just using them and doing some numerical problems. So just keep this page uh, ready or copy them and uh, put it on a separate page so that when you are solving problems all these uh, formulae are right in front of you. So before we start let's just be familiar with some of the terms. The capacity to do work and transfer heat is called energy and the energy from the interaction of charge particle we call it as electrostatic energy and the energy associated with motion is the kinetic energy and the energy associated with position is the potential energy and the distance between the two identical points on successive waves we call it as wavelengths so when we use these words energy wavelength potential energy kinetic energy it should make more sense to you now let's do the first question calculate the frequency of an electromagnetic radiation with a wavelength of 645 nanometer and the velocity of light is also given to you. So if you go back to our formula sheet and you realize that uh, the frequency and wavelength are related by the equation C equals lambda nu. Nu is the frequency, C is the velocity of light and lambda is the wavelength and um, we need to calculate nu so rearrange the equation, substitute the values of velocity of light and the wavelength given. The only thing which you should be careful over here is the velocity of light is always given in meters per second and the wavelength is always given in nanometers per second. So therefore, nanometer sorry. Therefore, convert it into meters and then calculate the value of frequency and the frequency unit will always be second inverse. Calculate the wavelength of light with frequency of 7.86 to the power of 14 and the velocity of light, light is given. The question is similar to the previous one. So use the same formula and then in this case they have asked you the wavelength and the frequency is given. Therefore rearrange the equation, substitute all the values and get the value of wavelength. Again wavelength is always reported in nanometer. Therefore the unit which you get in meters converted into nanometers and you calculate and report the value of wavelength. Find the wavelength of radio station that broadcasts at a frequency of 100.3 megahertz and see the velocity of light is given. That's not something, this question is not something new. The only thing is they have given you the frequency in uh, megahertz and the unit of megahertz or the if I consider as a hertz is same as the frequency uh, unit as second inverse. So use the same formula C equals lambda nu, get the value of lambda and, uh, and since the unit is given in megahertz converted into hertz and the unit of hertz is same as second inverse as I said and therefore report the value of lambda and um, since the value is pretty small you can report it in meters itself because in nanometer it will become even smaller than this. Find the energy of a radio wave with a frequency of 6.5 to the power of hertz and the value of Planck's constant H is given and uh, in this case since uh, you need to use the relation between energy and uh, frequency use the formula E equals H nu and substitute all the values H is given, nu is given and get the value of energy. Calculate the energy of a mole of photons associated with electromagnetic radiations of wavelength 368 nanometer velocity of light is given the value of Planck's constant is also given so they are asking you to calculate the energy so first use the E equals H nu formula and calculate the energy this is the energy associated with one photon so they, since they are asking you for the energy associated with the mole of photon multiplied by the Avogadro number I get the en energy associated with one mole of photon I get the answer in joules, just convert that into kilojoules and report the answer. Calculate moles of photons of a light, the wavelength of light is given, 
that is needed to strike a material for the material to absorb 72.5 kilojoules. So this is our uh, question. We use the same kind of formula, but the only thing is way we solve is dif uh, different. So the first step we will do is uh, for the wavelength given, calculate the energy of the uh, photon. So substitute the value of eight C and lambda and calculate the energy, and that energy comes as 3.08 into the power of ni uh, negative 90. So this is the energy of the photons which is striking a material and the material has to absorb an energy of 72.5 therefore we can calculate the number of photons which is needed therefore if you divide the 72.5 into the power of 3 joules divided by by the seventh energy calculated i will get the number of photons this is the number of photons which is needed to strike the material to absorb an energy of 72.5 since the answer is they have asked the question in the form of moles, converted into moles by dividing it by the Avogadro number. Calculate the energy of a particle that has a mass of 1.25 into the power of negative 27 kilograms and a speed of 3855 3, miles per hour. And um, you any time the velocity of now light is not given, the equation you will use will be Ek equals half mu square. But the thing which you have to be careful in this, the mass should be in uh, kilograms and the velocity should be in meters per second. Therefore, do the appropriate conversions. The conversions are also given to you how to do that. Be very careful what goes in the denominator, what goes in the numerator. The units should get cancelled and the final answer should have kilogram meter square second in uh, inverse 2 and uh, that is basically joules therefore the energy comes as 1.85 into the power of negative 21 joules calculate the mass of a particle with a wavelength of 2.25 nanometers and a speed of 2856 miles per hour when the conversion between mile to kilometer is also given so any time the speed of light is not given but the velocity is in something else other than speed of light the equation you will use will be lambda equals h over mu the de Broglie wavelength the so substitute all the values so the things you have to do is convert the wavelength into meters because it's given in nanometers convert the um, hours to seconds and miles to meters and uh, get the calculate the value of mass and the unit of mass will be kilograms.